Welcome Virgo. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks for you and what is going on. Okay, and we'll be using Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards. Grace Decks. Grace Decks. Grace Cards. Let's try that, shall we? <laughs> and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Virgo, so let's get into it here. Just give these a quick little shuffle. Oh, we've already got one flying out. Intuition is the first card to fly out. We'll take that. Thank you, Virgo. Okay, so let's have a look here. We'll shuffle those when we come to it. Right. First card up is intuition. Intuition, all these bright ideas coming out. I feel, did I even show you that closely? Beautiful cards. Like, honestly, seriously. Yeah, see, I feel like with your intuition, Virgo, um, it's it's sort of like for some of you still learning and practicing how to do it, it's like almost like you get so many things come up in one day that you're not actually sure what's intuition and what's just you making it up, okay? So I do just want to say feel that out, okay, and practice things, like the things that, you know, the creator has popped up. Um, and this is exactly what I was going to say, the knowing, right? The knowing that you've had times when you've just known that things are, you know, are as they are. And other times where you thought, oh, I wonder if it is or not. You know, there's that element of doubt and this element of knowing. And that's your intuition, this knowing, okay? Without a doubt, without any doubt whatsoever, okay? So let's have a look. Any more cards for intuition for Virgo, please? Woo! Okay, Virgo. Let's just get this. Whoops, just about knocked you over there. Rebirth is the other card that, that comes up with this. Intuition, the creator, and rebirth. So I'm wondering if for some of you, Virgo, you've actually... You're going through this process or have been through a process of completely recreating yourself or recreating something in your life. Could be to do with animals as well or young ones. Um, it's sort of like letting your um with this creation it's kind of like letting your intuition lead you rather than doing what you've always done in in doing what um look what seems good on paper or what everybody else says you should do type of thing okay so let's have a look here what else have we got clear out the old yeah clearing out the old all the things that no longer serve you right um and, and it's sort of like, Virgo, when you clear out the old, the path becomes a lot clearer. Um, you know, and it may not necessarily be the destination that's clear to you, but the path to whichever destination is a lot clearer for you. Okay, um, let's have a look here. Tell me more about Clear Out the Old, please. Why are they going flying everywhere today? Virgo. Yep. Got totality. Okay, so we've got postponement and totality. Okay. So it's sort of like you've taken time out um, in your life to, to really work out what it is that you want in your life, okay? Um, it's sort of like you've done this. Do you know what I'm saying is someone in an overgrown garden who's got just a big machete who's just like clearing out what is not needed anymore and at first it seems very overwhelming and it looks like it's going to never um, look like a beautiful garden okay but I feel like you've been chopping away and chopping away and chopping away and you've created a clear 
a clearer path for yourself. And it's sort of like you might even be just halfway there, but because it's kind of like this rebirth is what you're headed towards, okay? But you're still doing the work to get there, all right? So we have ideal course of action. Okay, so it could be that you're just taking some time out to work out what the next step is going to be. Sorry, let me show you this. Ideal course of action. Really contemplating this. Gee, there's a real sense of surety about yourself, you know. I want to say there's um, that somehow... Virgo, it seems that you've empowered yourself to some degree, okay, and maybe you've actually, um, there's two cards there, I only want one, maybe you've actually, rather than procrastinating or pondering on what it is that you want to do or where it is you want to go you've just started taking the steps necessary okay you haven't got it all figured out yet but you're okay with that okay so I've got to go and pick up this other card again here Virgo jeepers okay so Virgo first off we have mind here and and this is you know, the stinking thinking, polluting um, your, your, your thoughts and what you speak, polluting the air around you, okay, actually manifesting something that isn't the most ideal. But what I feel like has happened is this has popped up because the next card that went flying across the room was change, okay? And I feel as though there's been a change to your mindset, Okay, because all the other cards that we have here do not represent this at all, okay? It's it's sort of like you know when to take a rest, you know when to move forward, you know you, you're really kind of getting the hang of it in a sense um, and, and letting your intuition lead the way, okay? Um, and the change even, I feel like this could be what you've been clearing out, maybe what is in your mind that doesn't serve you anymore, Virgo. Okay, so let's have a look. Pause. This is the next card here. So it's interesting, ideal course of action, and it feels like she's pausing. Um, and I do want to say about this, Virgo, is don't move too soon. Okay, and I'm just being getting a, a picture of the eagle here and the eagle knows when when the right time to move is okay that eagle's timing is impeccable and I feel as though for you there's this this need for contemplation right now for whatever reason it is time just to sit and observe for a minute, okay? So let's have a look at what else we have here for you, Virgo. Gosh, your reading's going so quick. The last reading I did went, like, honestly, time. The time is just bizarre right now. Okay, 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 settle down. Three, we've got three cards flying out here. Okay, and we have the master. Okay, okay, I love this because this has come under intuition as well and we've got pause here. And I really feel like whatever it is that you're contemplating or whatever it is that you're moving towards Virgo, this intuition having come up first and flying out the way it did, I feel like is quite crucial to this entire reading. Okay, it's almost as though we could have just had this one card out here and it would say it all really. But what I want to say about this, with this master coming up here, is this is... Okay, yes, and we've got the rebel coming up here as well, okay, and we've got celebration here. Okay, and I feel like with the master and the rebel, this is about you... Sorry, there's this pause that needs to happen in order for you to step into your true, authentic self. 
okay and I feel as though you've been heading towards this with this top row here this is something that you've really taken on board and you're heading towards okay there's just still a few things that are holding you back and maybe it is this mind maybe it is these thoughts of oh gosh well what will people think of me if I do this and what if I go in this direction people are gonna think xyz okay and and actually changing that changing that record changing that that This is the wind of change, okay? And um, actually allowing that wind of change to blow that in another direction because this does not serve you and this does not allow you to build a solid foundation. Okay, Virgo. So um, I feel as though it's sort of like this pause is necessary for you to embrace and encompass the master of who you truly are and I feel like some of you don't feel as though you're a master at anything and you don't have to be this is not about having a skill or, or learning something to the degree where you become a master at it and only very few people are able to master that no this is about you. This is about the master of who you truly are coming that, that resides within coming out. Because Virgo, at the end of the day, no one else knows us more than we know ourselves. Okay? There's no one who's going to live our life the way we live it. There's no one else who is going to walk the journey that we walk upon this earth, the same as how we walk it, okay? So therefore, when we're talking about the master of who we truly are, there is no discovering. There is only allowing, allowing this master to come through, okay? We don't need to discover this because it is already there. It's already innately divine. There's, there's nothing that needs to be changed about it. What The only thing that needs to be changed and cleared, okay, is this. All right? Allowing the winds of change to blow any thoughts or words that come out of our mouth does, that does not honour the master of who we truly are, okay, this rebel is about being authentic, breaking the change of, of, of things that um, hold us down, of things that hold us back from being our true authentic self. And this could even potentially be people around you in your life, Virgo, who are holding you back from being who you truly are, right? This could be this pause going... Do I want to go in that direction with those people who won't allow me to, to be who I truly am? Will I, will I continue to encompass myself with, with beliefs and, um, and ways that aren't from my heart, that aren't from the truth of who I am? Do I really want that to happen? Or do I want to be around people who are going to celebrate me and uplift me and help raise my vibration? Who accept me for who I truly am? Who will help me break the chains off of my feet and let me fly? And who will fly with me? Who will jump and dance in the puddles with me on a rainy day, right? The master. And it is from the master that the intuition comes. When, when we are allowing the master to fully take charge, there's no question of the intuition. 
the intuition is just dominant in our life. We have no question about that, okay? So let's have a look. Show your support. Show your support. Virgo, I feel like this is you showing your support to you. I feel like this is about you nurturing the master of who you are. It's sort of like there's this, there's this master within you that you didn't know existed. And it's sort of like you're only just getting to meet in a sense. And I'm noticing this rose popping up here. You know, it's sort of like, Virgo, it's as though for some of you, you thought you were just a little daisy. Ah, you thought you were just a daisy. And you're actually discovering that you're a rose. And I feel as though your life right now may not reflect what it is for you to be a rose. It may reflect you being a daisy. And it's sort of like doing little things in your life to actually embrace the fact that you're a rose, if that makes sense. And it's sort of like this master. It really is embracing the fact that you are a master and... Um, there is no other master like you. Because I feel like, I feel like, right, this lady here is, is sitting here and this one comes up here to give her a rose and she's like, oh, well, what's that then? I've never seen one of those. And this one's like, this is you. This is who you truly are. It, it's like this very... Um, authentic innocence about you of not realizing who you truly are and I love that because it's not um about ego it's not about um you know being full of yourself it's just you going oh wow is that really me <laughs> I didn't know that you know and um yeah because look here see this dream here it's like this is what you've had Virgo you've had this dream and you've never thought it was possible for you okay it's sort of like you've seen everyone else bring out their master within them and you're like oh, I just don't have that that's not who I am but in fact it actually is okay and and maybe more so than other people because you, you're not coming from the ego with it you're doing it authentically which is what makes it so beautiful and if there was anyone else around you bringing out this truth of who they are you would 100% support them okay and yet when it comes to you you're questioning your ability or, or the truth of who you are this is the truth of who you are and you're questioning that Hmm. You have the dream of, of this right in front of you, but you're like, oh, no, I don't think that's mine. I think that was meant for someone else. It's, it's interesting because you want it, but you also don't believe you deserve it or you don't believe it's for you. So I suppose that's changing that mindset, right? That mindset of why, why wouldn't it be for you, Virgo? Why not? Why not you? Yeah? Possibilities. Here's the eagle. Here's the eagle, right? The eagle coming out and going, now is the time. It's now time to take flight. It's time to rise above and see the terrain for what it truly is. and deciding where you will land. Oh, I really 
absolutely love this. I love this, Virgo. Okay, so next card. I can't believe it's just going so fast. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. Contemplation. See, there's this real innocence. This real innocence. This contemplation here. She's sitting with a couple of lions here, right? Like it's just like an everyday thing. And this is the thing for you, Virgo. There's something that you do in your everyday life. There's some, there's some sort of ability that you have that you think, oh, it's nothing. It's just what I do. But it's actually incredible. It's quite incredible. And I really feel like you need to sieve through everything. In fact, it could even be jumping out to you now as I'm saying this. So like you need to sieve through everything to allow that to come forth. Because she's sitting here with these lions, like, you know, like it's something everyone does, going, I can't even imagine what that thing would be. <laughs> it's like, well, you're sitting here with lions. <laughs> you know, isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious what it is? You know, you've got a butterfly stapled to your head. That's not a usual thing that everybody does. Isn't it obvious? But to you, it's not obvious. You know, and it could even be the strength that you have um, used to get yourself through a certain time or to get yourself through something that you'll be able to use to help other people to get themselves through um, whatever it is that they're going through. Okay, we've got comparison popping up here. Um, yeah, see, Virgo, you really, really undermine yourself. You underestimate your ability. Now, look at all these cards jumping out here trying to talk to us. We've got so many cards. Wow. Is that it? Is that it? There you go. Is that all you have to say? <laughs> We've got... What's popped up here? Comparison, first off. We've got comparison. Okay, I don't even know the order that these come out in, by the way. We've got breakthrough. We've got outsider. We've got friendliness. We've got innocence. <laughs> and we've got transformation. So, Virgo. What does this tell me? Well, it's telling me that... You sort of um, shut yourself out um, through your you comparing yourself to other people. Okay, you don't believe you're good enough. You don't believe you have what it takes. And it's like, I just want to grab you, Virgo, and kind of shake you and go, Virgo, you have everything it takes and more. Why aren't you doing what you need to do, Virgo? I feel like you see this dude, this dude here that I kind of perceive to be a bit of a master. Okay, is sitting here with the grasshopper listening and watching the grasshopper because he believes the grasshopper is the master most people would say he's the master but him no he believes the grasshopper is the master and i feel like that is exactly what you're doing everything else is the master and not you but i feel like in in normally i'd say to step out of this you know thing of believing you know everything and start to look around for the little things because all the little things have things to teach you and that's still a message 
but the thing is, Virgo, you're not embracing your masterfulness. Okay, um, and I feel as though that's stopping um, you bringing together um, What are you not bringing together? Okay, so that's right in the middle here of these. I feel like this breakthrough that would lead to this transformation is being held back from coming together by you not believing in the master who you truly are, okay? And therefore you're shutting yourself out Okay, because you're continuously comparing yourself to other people and believing that you just haven't quite got the goods. Okay, um, and, and it's sort of like you're doing it to yourself. And then it's like, oh my gosh, yeah, I totally do that. Is that what's that, you know? And so, yeah, I really feel as though for you Virgo, that you need to um, start really being conscious of everything that is coming out of this mind here, okay? And putting it in the wheel of change and let it spin off and off into the abyss for it to never be seen again. Simple. <laughs> I know, Virgo, it's not as easy as, as it's not, it's, you know what I mean. It's easier said than done. But... I do really feel like uh, there needs to be more attention paid to who you truly are, Virgo, which is the master, okay? So, yeah. Anyway, let's get on to our grace cards here. Grace cards for Virgo, just to finish us off here. Whoop. See, why are we all over the floor here? Okay, so we've got release pop up here. Look at this, I love this. Release. Let go. When we release our attachment to the outcome, we allow the power of grace to work its magic. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so maybe it's the outcome that you are holding on to too tightly and not letting the flow take place as to wherever you land is wherever you land. Kind of trusting in a sense, right? Anything else? Okay, so we've got receive. When we open ourselves up to others, we open ourselves up to the abundance of the universe. Oh, I like that. Yes, and this is what, you know, this friendliness coming together, okay, opening ourselves up to others, okay, and any... Sorry. That didn't jump out the way I wanted it to. One more for Virgo, please. Okay, not three more. Oh, we've got love, vision, and direction, though. Okay, so I'm just showing you in case another one of those pop up. Okay, so. Honor. Honor. Care for your soul. On, honor the divinity within you by practicing extreme self here yes yes you see honoring yourself honoring the truth of who you really are honor that okay care for your soul honor the divinity within you by practicing extreme self-care okay so really looking at what would a master do you know um how would a master take care of themselves okay and treating yourself as such okay virgo so I'm going to leave that with you. That was super interesting. Okay, so yes, Master, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.